While most farmers look to the sky for drought relief, an increasing number are looking to their soil. Ramudu and his wife Ramulamma are among them, and for good reason. Good, healthy soil is particularly critical in areas affected by water shortages like Karnul district in Andhra Pradesh. Usually, this water body is filled to the brim, but not this year. Low and erratic rainfall related to climate change has become the norm in India. Power Grid Corporation of India wanted to help farmers become more drought resilient. While working, we, what we found that this is a semi-arid area and irrigation is a problem. Even fertility of the land is not so good. It teamed up with the ICRSAT, an agriculture research institute, to launch a corporate social responsibility initiative in the district. Starting in 2014, 10 villages were chosen. With support from the local community, a slew of science-led solutions to conserve and manage water better were implemented. This included better soil management. ICRSAT scientists took soil samples and tested them. They discovered deficiencies of key minerals. Levels of sulphur, zinc and calcium were low on most farmers' fields, including Ramudu and Ramulammas. Based on this analysis, fertilizer recommendations were given to target optimum yields. Micronutrients were provided to farmers to apply to crops, and vermicompost production was also recommended. This is vermicompost, produced from all biodegradable waste material of plants and animals. Uh, generally, waste material like weeds, plant material, and uh, leftover fodder is used for producing vermicompost. So, the earthworms eat this waste material and convert into valuable manure. This nutrient-rich fertilizer is applied to soil to keep it healthy and it doubles up as an alternative livelihood option. Uh, generally, this farm family, they have started producing vermicompost in their farm. They can use in their own farm as well as if excess is produced, they can sell it in the market. So, it improves their uh, crop productivity as well as even if they sell in the market, they get additional income. ICRSAT scientists also suggested building stone buns. These help to reduce runoff and help impound water longer for it to infiltrate the soil and reduce soil degradation. And it's recommended that Gliricidia is grown on or along buns. The new organic matter which is generated on the buns by growing nitrogen-rich plants like Gliricidia are grown their loppings are added to the soil as the organic uh, material which gets decomposed and organic carbon increases resulting into increasing the water holding capacity of the soil and as a result with increased water holding capacity the plants are able to survive longer dry spells during the dry season and overcome the drought stress. These interventions have helped farmers in Karnul improve their crop yield. For onion, among the crops Ramudu and Ramulamma grow, there has been a 24% increase. For tomato, another crop they grow, there has been an 18% improvement. Meanwhile, for groundnut, popularly grown in the district, there has been a 22% rise. For <laughs> Pirutundi, a polum salugaitundi, the Nilu worship Nirurga Baga Tagu Tautundi, Bumsa, Tampukostundi, Tiamasatam, Baga Patkundi, and the Volam Mago Adam Banimansar. Icrisat scientists also helped farmers in Karnul decide where to build water harvesting structures. Up to March 2016, 20 farm ponds have been built, 7 check dams, 12 rock filled dams. 14 loose boulder structures, 2 check walls and 2 mini percolation tanks. A check dam was built close to Ramudu and his wife's land. I check dam lo katta kato ligane mam bore lech nam. Bore lech in tarvada check dam lo katna ra. Apdi nilu takko orchini. Check dam lo i katwa lo i katta tarvada neet matam mak peri indi nilu part unte nam mako. Various water harvesting structures in the district have helped conserve 24,000 cubic meters of surface runoff water.
that is equal to the amount of water needed to fill 10 Olympic size swimming pools. Improving water use efficiency is only one goal of the project. Empowering women, diversifying rural livelihood options and ensuring food security were also important objectives. Mohan Reddy and his wife Sri Devi live in a village close to Ramudu and Ramulamma. They also adopted various interventions under the Power Grid Ikrasat watershed program like building this farm pond which will be used to store rainwater. But because farming remains a risky business with huge fluctuations in income each year, it was important farming families like Reddy's diversify their livelihoods. That's why under the CSR program, tailoring classes were offered to some female farmers. <laughs> A five-year-long project, moving forward, the project hopes to help more farmers and more villagers. Now we have, now two and a half years have completed. Though we have achieved lot of things, in next two to three years, more and more farmers will we will uh, encourage more and more farmers to adopt these uh, demonstrated uh, technologies so that the whole area gets benefited out of this.